Saturday, let's go. Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a little closer to midday. I woke up really late. Wanted to start this video off by uh, trying to not wear the hoodie because I'm, one, it's not as freezing today. And two, I like seeing, you know, a mix up on my thumbnails, not just with hoodies on, right? But it is what it is. Today is a little bit uh, warmer and not as windy. I want to be about as myself as I can be in this video. I had a tough night last night. You saw the title of the video, right? And he talks about, I mentioned the word anxiety quite a bit in all my uh, videos. I uh, also talk about sleep, how sleep is important for you, uh, critical for your recovery in every regard. And... Uh, after I dropped that video, and it probably has to do a lot with the heavy topics I've been covering, but I couldn't uh, sleep, and I didn't uh, fall off to sleep until a little past 3 o'clock. So I was tossing and turning. I was twitching meaning this I was very fidgety in bed and you know how that gets like you've been there if you know if you have this condition you know you've been there and uh and then I had to wake up and I did some work on my computer which is you know uh blocked out with the uh black screen so it's less strenuous on your eyes so it's basically the background on YouTube is black um my girlfriend just texted me, brought a smile to my face, I can see it. I'll do a video about her, promise, I swear. So, I got, I got flashbacks on when I used to, in my 30s, and all the way, you know, to the 40s. I, I had this thing that my energy would start, I would start choking up. So by the time we got close to 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, nearly 6, and as I saw the sun setting, I would get heart palpitations. I would start getting heavy throat, choking feeling, and uh, I used to get night terror. Night terror is basically, you just see some horrific dreams. Horrific dreams, like I would clench my teeth, I would end up paralyzed, sleep paralysis, and just sometimes I would end up yelling, or sometimes I would end up gasping for air. And by the time morning came about, I, was, I had battled all of those to finally find a groove at 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. I would... I would get finally a good night's sleep. And so, but by the time I would wake up in the morning, where I had to force myself to wake up, you know, because I had to go to work, I was such a mess. I had no energy. I had no energy. And I'm struggling in a, in a way to get the words out because I'm just a little foggy from last night's cycle. Mind you, last night's cycle was nothing like compared to what it was used to be because I'm a lot better. I, I rarely have these nights. I rarely have these nights. Last night, I just happened to not fall off to sleep. I didn't, I didn't uh, face any of those demonic type of spells <laughs> that I just talked about. Uh, Maybe I'm just so focused and I could feel my adrenaline pumping. And that's another thing is the over uh, working off your adrenaline glands, right? Um, again, I'm not a doctor, but I've been to the doctor and I've seen him about all of these uh, things. And so that's why I openly say that I, I, I'm prescribed to Xenix. So I took a Xenix and that did the trick as needed, right? And you gotta, you gotta realize, folks, I'm not perfect by any means, even though I talk about a lot of positive stuff on my 
channel and self-improving. But then I also am very much human that, that's been through a lot in life. And, you know, I talk about my father, Parkinson's, his eventual demise, my relationship, toxic relationship with my mother. Uh, a lot of PTSD there as a child, right? That, th those are all, all things that play into your psyche, your psychology growing up as a kid, a teenage, and you, you end up repeating certain patterns. You end up attracting certain relationships with women who resemble my mom quite a bit. <laughs> Fine as hell, though, but yeah. See what I mean? And then I would... Uh, get into those same type of arguments with these uh, girlfriends, with my dates, with my girls. It was just a repetition. I think I was taking some of these out, some of these frustrations out on them. But a lot, lot of really horrible, horrific fights that were unnecessary. So stress is, stress is a B, you know, stress is stress skills. Stress skills. And uh, stress shows up in many different ways. Uh, last night was an anomaly, and uh, I'm just putting this out there for those that you're not crazy. You know, just because it's 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and the sun starts going down, nothing's going to happen to you, man. Because nothing at the end of it, when you look at it, hindsight, and, and when you now think about it, the, the worst case scenario was never a worst case scenario. It was all in my head. It was all, all, all an illusion. Nothing happened, is what I'm trying to say. I was alive. I could reach into the refrigerator and eat ice cream if I wanted to. You get the point. All was well. So, this is why I walk more. Um, it's part of my healing process, and I think the healing process is never-ending. Um, the healing process is... Uh, a lifetime and in, the healing, in my opinion the healing process stops when you stop doing this so just right now just talking to you all eight minutes in <coughs> I'm already feeling better yes it's a little cold yes it's a little chilly and yes I struggle to drive and get out to the park but I, it's important for you to see the raw authenticity of what it takes right to reap to live the life that I'm living now takes a lot of work, takes a lot of preparation. Man, again, the background is beautiful. That, that, that just brings such a smile to my face, the background. So I'd love to hear from you and your stories about night anxiety, anxiety period, but as the day goes, you know, how it impacts your life, how it can be crippling how I would avoid people, how I would avoid certain situations. Uh, when there was a you know, night out with the boys and public environment setting, the big crowd, large crowd, work events, I, all of these things would paralyze me. But there was nothing wrong because I would I'd put up a great act, uh, a front, and I would do really well. I would do really well with even women, you know, wink, wink. It was just me in my own way. And a lot of times, the reality is you are in your own way. And we don't get the help we need. Or we should. Hold on. One second. Um, that motorcycle irritates me. It was here yesterday, too. It's not even cool sounding. It sounds like a piece of shit. <laughs> and I appreciate a good motorcycle, by the way, with that meaty sound and quality. I, I don't hate motorcycles, so no, no, no offense there. But anyway, folks, that's that's the video for this one here. Um, I am back out on my track and my trails and doing what I love to do. And the day is going to get better. As I move forward and I do more of these, okay? Until the next one, I'm out. <laughs>